excuse me, you just caught me in my daily guitar practice. Didn't realize that I played guitar? Well, neither did I, because I don't. Well, at least I didn't until two days ago. You see, I've been wanting to play guitar for years, and I've had a hand-me-down for ages, sitting under my bed, collecting dust. Because I always had a good excuse. I don't have the time, it's not a priority. What if I can't read music? Maybe I won't have natural talent. The truth is, I'm not very good at not being good at something. Perhaps you can relate. And unfortunately, I see it all too often with the people I work with. We expect things to be perfect the first time we do it. And that's impossible. And as a result, we often take no action at all. It's actually one of the biggest bravery killers. And so, three days ago, I thought enough was enough. I took out my guitar, I brushed off the dust, and it turns out that Fender is offering three months of free online classes. So I'm only two days in, well, this is day three, and let's be honest, I'm not very good, at least not yet, but we have to start somewhere, right? And now that I've shared this publicly, perhaps you can help hold me accountable. You see, the first time we try anything, we're not gonna be good at it. And this is the first time we're facing what we're facing. And so we're not gonna be good at it and that's okay. But we have to be willing to try to learn, to grow and figure it out as we go. I think this is the perfect time to adopt the beginner's mindset. In some ways, this is like the greatest equalizer. We are all figuring it out as we go right now and we are all worried. We are worried about our loved ones. We're worried about how we're gonna figure out how to homeschool. We're worried about how to pay our bills. We're worried about what it's going to look like coming out of this. What is that new normal going to be? Well, this is the perfect time to try and be brave enough to be bad at something. Do you know the game Two Truths and a Lie? Well, I wanna share with you today Two Truths and a Lie. Truth number one, there is no right or wrong way to be going through this time. It's true. We have never been here before and nobody knows what they're doing. At least nobody that I've spoken to and I've spoken to a lot of people. I'm a people person and I'm getting lonely staying here in my condo on my own. The second truth is you have to be willing to be uncomfortable and be brave enough to be bad at something if you want to grow. And I know we're all here to grow. And the first time we attempt something new, it's not going to be comfortable, but that is the only way we're gonna stretch ourselves and figure out what it is that we can do, what we're capable of. So I think we could bring this to something else in our life that we might want to try, that we've always been wanting, but have been putting off for too long. And then the lie, everyone else has it figured out but you. That is simply not the case. And I think we have to be careful what we see online and on social media. People seem to be making gourmet meals, taking this course, learning that language, nailing that homeschooling. And it might not necessarily all be reality. There is so much guilt and comparison and judgment and shame that's going on right now. And it has to stop. You are doing the best that you can. I honestly, believe that. And what other people are doing is none of your business. And what you are doing or not doing is none of their business. So let's move on so that we can experience a whole lot less stress in a time that is already extremely stressful. So I challenge you to, to remember these two truths. There is no right or wrong way to do this. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable and be brave enough to be bad at something if you want to grow. And the lie Everyone else has it figured out but you. That is simply not true, not the case. So I encourage you to take on the beginner's mindset this week and perhaps try something new that you've been putting off and be brave enough to be bad at it. And then share with me what it is that you're gonna take on so we can help cheer each other on and keep each other accountable. Until next time, I am cheering for you and now I'm gonna get back to down by the river. Maybe we'll try that again. See you soon. <laughs>